Hello everyone and welcome back. I think you all know that a computer is a machine which is used to store, manipulate, transmit and receive data, right? But do you know how many types of computers are there? Well if you don't know then there is no need to worry because today in this video we are going to talk about different types of computers. Okay so before we begin the very first thing you need to know is that computers can be categorized in two ways based on their data handling capabilities and based on their sizes. If we consider data handling capabilities, then there are three types of computers such as analog computers, digital computers and hybrid computers. Analog computers are specifically designed to process analog data. So what basically analog data is? It's a type of continuous data that continually changes and doesn't have discrete values. We can say that analog computers are used where we don't need exact values such as speed, temperature, pressure, current and so on. Examples of analog computers are speedometer and mercury thermometer. Digital computers are designed to perform calculations and logical operations at high speed. They accept raw data as input in the form of digits or binary numbers and process it with programs stored in their memory to produce the results. All modern computers including laptops, desktops and smartphones that we use at home or office are digital computers. Hybrid computers are a combination of both analog and digital computers. They are fast like analog computers and have memory and accuracy like digital computers. So they have the ability to process both continuous and discrete data. They work by accepting analog signals as input and converting them into digital form before processing. They are widely used in specialized applications where both analog and digital data is required to be processed. A processor used in petrol pumps convert fuel flow into values for both quantity and price is an example of a hybrid computer. Similar devices are used in hospitals, airplanes and scientific applications. Now on the basis of size, there are four main types of computers. Supercomputer, mainframe computer, microcomputer and mini computer. When we talk about speed, then the first name that comes to our mind when thinking of computers is supercomputer. It's the biggest and fastest computer and obviously very expensive. It was first developed by Roger Cray in 1976 and designed in such a way that it can process a massive amount of data. For example, it can process trillions of instructions or calculations just in a second. This is because it has thousands of interconnected processors. Supercomputer is found in areas like science, engineering, education, defense, aerospace and many more. Basically, it is used for complex tasks such as weather forecasting, scientific simulation, online stock trading and so on. Now mainframe computer. It is designed in such a way that it can support thousands of users and multiple programs at the same time. So it can execute different processes simultaneously. All these features make the mainframe computer ideal for big organizations like banking, telecom sectors, insurance agencies, healthcare and so on. Mainframe computer usually has a very long life. It can run smoothly for up to 50 years after the installation. And the good thing is, it can share the workload among other processors. And when it comes to errors, then there are fewer chances of errors in these devices. However, if any error occurs, then it is quickly fixed by the system. IBM is one of the world's best makers of mainframes. Third one, microcomputer, also known as personal computer, including laptop, desktop, notebook, tablet, smartphone and PDA. It is basically a general purpose computer and designed for individual use. It has a microprocessor, memory, storage, input and output unit. This kind of computer is suitable for personal work such as making an assignment, watching a movie and so on. I think you are well familiar with this type of computer, right? 
there is nothing much to tell. Finally, mini computer. It's a medium size multi processing device. In this type of computer, there are two or more processors and it can support up to 250 users at a time. It is used in places like schools, colleges or departments for billing, accounting, inventory management and so on. It is smaller than a mainframe but larger than a microcomputer. And you know what, it is portable, you can fit anywhere. There is one more type of computers that falls in modern category called variables. Common computer applications like email, database, multimedia and calendar are integrated into watches, eyeglasses, smart bands and even clothing. Apple iWatch, now in its fourth iteration, is one of the best reviewed wearables until now. This watch has many functionalities like texting, emailing, making calls, listening music, tracking fitness and so on. Wearables are just the beginning, indeed a new horizon in personal computing, which tells us that computer revolution is not over yet. So with that, I hope this video helped you. If it does, do let me know in the comment section and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.